This spring, billions of cicadas from two different broods are expected to emerge at the same time and possibly interbreed for the first time since the 1800s. Brood 13 are mostly concentrated in Illinois, Iowa, and Wisconsin. They emerge every 17 years. Brood 19 emerges every 13 years. They're more spread across the southeast, and scientists are predicting the broods will interbreed somewhere near Springfield, Illinois. So joining me now is the bug guy, Michael Raup. Uh, Michael, thank you so much for your time. Explain how what is happening this year differs from an average spring and summer. Hey, Nicole, how you doing? So nice to be here today. This is going to be a cicada palooza. Nicole, almost every year at some place in the United States, we have a brood of periodical cicadas emerging. There are 15 broods in all, 12 17-year broods and three 13-year broods, but this year is special. This is the first time since the Louisiana Purchase was signed by Jefferson back in 1803 that we're going to have two broods in the same location in Illinois that may, put, as you said, potentially interbreed. We don't know if that's going to happen, but this is a rare event. It's epic. It's going to be spectacular. And guess what? It is underway. It is underway. I can hear the excitement in your voice, Michael. Uh, I actually like the sound. It just reminds me of summer. But when they are all singing at once, how loud can it get? It's one of the loudest sounds in all the entire natural world. Whales are louder, but these guys, the big boy band is going to crank it up to something close to 100 decibels. That's the sound of a chainsaw, a lawnmower engine, or a jet plane going over. They're going to be noisy. All right, so I don't really like how they look, but then again, I'm sure that they might not like how I look. Uh, do they cause any type of damage to the environment? Well, no, that's, that's a great question. Look, they don't bite, they don't sting. Your dogs are gonna love to eat these things. Some people will eat them too. Don't let the dogs eat too many. They might get a little clogged up. They're little geniuses in transferring energy up and down food webs and food chains. Think about it. For 17 years, they've been feeding on the roots of plants. They're gonna come up out of the ground. Everything on the planet's gonna wanna eat them. There, it's going to be a bounty for birds, raccoons, foxes. Birds are going to lay more eggs. They're, they're young are going to survive. And then when they die, their little bodies are going to rain down. They're going to fertilize the very plants from which they were spawned. So they're very critical in terms of transferring energy and material up and down the food chain. All right. So before we let you go, how long will this emergence happen? Like, how long can we expect to hear the sweet sounds of the cicada? Not long enough for me. Not long enough. But hey, if you don't like cicadas, it's all going to be over probably in about two to three weeks. If you fear cicadas, maybe plan a trip to the West Coast or the beach. But Right now, it's pretty special. They're already out and chorusing, chorusing down in Augusta, Georgia, and that big tsunami of cicadas is going to roll up the East Coast and into the Midwest as soil temperatures warm. So get ready. They're yeah. coming. Go out and enjoy. I, I listen. I, I love the sounds. The bug guy, Michael Raup, thank you so much for your time. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.